collection of default panel builder instruments um, with X-Plane running in the background. Now if I was to bring up X-Plane, you can see the super, it's superimposed above and the two programs are running quite happily together. And you can see the two are actually running very, very happily together. I can tune the radios from the SIM plugins panel. For example, I can set the squawk. I can set the squawk. I can go up and I can change the uh, the, the uh, frequency. For example, on NAV two to oh, one seven. Four five, and you'll see that when I actually switch that across, Setting up a panel with Panel Builder is very, very easy. You simply just drag your instrument to where you want it to be and you set the scale with an ice wheel. And the limitation is only your imagination as to, as to what you need to do or, or whatever your requirement is. So we'll take, the, uh, take those across there like that make that so it's so it fits within the within the screen okay we've got some frame we have some frames we'll move those out of the way just for now okay so we bring bring all our components down you can see they're beautifully drawn And we just place them where we need them to be. We'll just spread them around just for now, so we've got a little bit of room to, to decide where we want to put them. So we can put the tape. And also, the uh, instruments shown, you can turn them into more than one instrument. You can actually, uh, quite simply, uh, just click on, for example, the uh, uh, the N1 gauge. Click on settings, so I can make this. I can make put up three gauges from one gauge, and make them one to four. I'll just cancel that now. Now this is the add-on EFIS construction kit. Uh, the the standalone EFIS construction kit uh, includes some standby instruments as well. So you can uh, you can basically add whatever you need to to make your uh, cockpit. Now the gist of it is that you may feel that that is too small, so we just make it bit we make it bigger, move it up, make it a bit bigger, make the tape on the side bigger, place it, okay. So you can see, it is literally a construction kit. You make uh, it'll work with any aircraft uh, with Microsoft Flight Simulator or X-Plane, depending on which version you've actually chosen. We'll make that so it's a, a decent size so that we can see it. Now, in the background, if I just uh, if I just minimise this a second, I'll just move these so I can see the the taskbar okay there's our taskbar we can we can bring up the uh, x-plane in the background 
so that and you can see that it all works. Oh, very slow. Yes, I've got one. Yes, I'm just.